Hello Capricorn friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It makes a difference and you are appreciated. Alright, we're going to go through the reading. At the end, if we have any court cards on the table, we'll do a dealing with those signs mini reading. We'll also wrap it up with some nerd stuff if we have time at the end, okay? Alright, everything else you need to know is listed down below in the description box. That includes the astrological weather and related messages for this month, as well as who this reading may resonate with and the list of decks we use for the channel. This is also the first week of the new set schedule, so if you're curious about the schedule, just take a, take a look down at the link down below. All right, let's go ahead and move into this reading, my friends. Let's see, what's at the center of this reading for our Capricorn friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? What's at the center of the reading for Capricorn, please? We have the Eight of Cups energy. So Capricorn, it does look like a time where maybe you are thinking about something that you have been maintaining. For this channel, eights are about maintenance. So you're doing the math, you're doing the calculations to figure out, is this thing that I am continuing to put my energy into, is it serving me and to what degree, okay? Uh, is there a way that I can make sure that I'm not putting too much energy into something that ultimately I feel like is not really getting me anywhere or not really bringing me what I want, okay? For some of you, you know, it could be emotional, it could be about um, a relationship. For some of you, it could just be realizing that even if you're very successful right now, maybe you're not as happy with your success or your results as you expected to be, okay? Maybe you have to walk away from that attitude as well. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me more messages related to this Eight of Cups for our Capricorn friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. Here we have the Hierophant energy. So with the Hierophant, there looks like there's something to do with routine or habit. Maybe there's something you realize that you don't really even believe in this thing anymore. You don't really, it doesn't excite you. It doesn't really, I feel like it's just it's become your routine. It's become what you know. And I feel like you are in a place where maybe you're a little bit afraid of departing f or, uh, f from what you know, from your comfort space. I feel like it's a time to expand out. I feel like you've been able to create some sort of stability or some sort of um, consistency, all right? In terms of your life, the direction you're going, your career. I feel like it's all around, all right? But there is something here about being stuck in a rut. There is something here about um, needing to maybe look at your patterns and routines. There's room for not just efficiency, but there's also room for more joy, okay? I am getting kind of a mechanical feeling, kind of a doing it for the sense of duty, doing it because it needs to get done, not necessarily because it excites you or because, I don't know, I feel like maybe you you might be in a situation where things are stable, but just really boring, okay? All right, let's go ahead and move forward here. That being said, I mean, I feel like you've also done a lot of work in terms of your spiritual work, your spiritual connection, your spiritual awareness, but I feel like at this point, it's like you can't spend all of your time, you're not a monk, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me more about this energy and messages for Capricorn. We have the Nine of Wands energy, so this is my I survived the zombie apocalypse and all I got was this lousy t-shirt card. It does feel like, yeah, it feels like there is bl there are blockages though. So it does feel like um, you're just, you're stuck in monotony is what I'm getting, okay? You need a change, you need something to help exhilarate and refresh your spirit is kind of what I'm getting. Your imagination, it's a... Uh, I feel like also, I know this sounds funny, but it's like you've been following the rules too much is what I'm getting, okay? Sometimes it's, it becomes more natural for you to just kind of follow the rules, go with the structure, go with the flow sometimes. But I feel like in this situation, it's bringing you to a dead end, all right? So it could also be, I mean, with the with the Hierophant energy, it could be a, um, it could be a, a committed relationship. So it could be a marriage but I feel like more than a marriage, this is about the, your essence, all right? I feel like this is about you needing to spread your wings, you needing to push out of your comfort zone, because otherwise you're just, it, it gets you kind of sulky is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's take a look here. Tell me more messages for our Capricorn friends. 
yeah we have the three of wands energy sun and aries energy it's like you want to you want to it's good it's good for you to get moving now to initiate something to move on to the next phase to the next level is what i'm getting all right don't don't um don't keep don't crowd yourself give yourself space to grow because i feel like even though you you found like a winning formula or you found something that works it's like you got to shake things up a little bit otherwise it goes stale is what i'm getting all right so i feel like if you were thinking about a new business venture if you were thinking about starting a new project starting a new hobby this is a great time to do that and if you haven't been if you've really tried trying to just you know stay inside be comfy eat food and and kind of um escape from life it, this is your invitation to come back okay come back into the fold because eventually it's like no matter how far you run away it's always the same there's consistency you'll always find the same blockages and problems no matter how far you run away or how many times you change your job or where you are where you live your partner there's something that that you need to do for yourself in order to feel a sense of reawakening a sense of satisfaction a sense of exhilaration you need to challenge yourself is also what i'm getting here okay all right let's tell me more about this energy tell me more about the messages for our capricorn friends next seven days possibly beyond we have the ace of cups energy so it is finding something to re re stimulate your heart to mentally stimulate you and to also energetically and emotionally stimulate you I also feel like for some of you, this is taking some of the spiritual lessons that you've learned, some of the spiritual uh, process that you've gone through and sharing it with others. I feel like with the Ace of Cups energy as well, I feel like for some of you, if you feel like you are stuck in a dead end situation, if you feel like your job is going nowhere, if you feel like your relationship is going nowhere, it doesn't matter how much you've already fed the thing. It doesn't matter how much you've already invested you can save yourself from taking a much worse loss by cutting it off now, by moving forward, by having the courage to acknowledge, to recognize and acknowledge and to accept what is not satisfied within yourself, that you are not happy, and to move towards a direction that is going to bring more, especially emotional fulfillment. This can be very difficult for you, Capricorn, because I feel like for some of you, you've, you've created a very, um, stable position for yourself it's like you're comfortable your needs are being met in terms of work you may have seniority you may have status people may listen to your input okay maybe you're afraid to walk away from that but at the same time it's not it's no longer bringing you any joy that's what I'm getting okay don't be afraid to let yourself go towards your joy and and even if you may need to adjust your budget in the long run it's like you're gaining you're gaining a lot you're gaining your sense of peace of mind you're gaining satisfaction you're gaining things that you know a lack of that stress a lack of that sadness it really does help to uplift the spirit and it actually helps to keep the body young as well okay the mind and body young it is the fountain of youth is understanding how to deal with stress and how to deal with it in a way where it doesn't wreak havoc on your body also part of it is not just learning how you know mechanisms or um, tactics or strategies to deal with stress in the moment but understanding how to from the very beginning from the first step to conceive of a space that is very tranquil for you that actually is um, meeting your needs is satisfying but on multiple levels not just on the physical plane the physical level the Hierophant energy, it's like the second house energy, which is Taurus energy. Uh, Taurus rules the second house, but that's about the physical world, okay? Our physical possessions, that sort of thing. All right. Um, also, for some of you, you could be investing in things that are non-tangible goods or things that are digital goods. Because the the um, even though it's like the Hierophant is Taurus energy, that second house, the Hierophant also tells us about the immaterial as well. So you could be finding a way, negotiating or teaching uh, ways to, I don't know, maybe you're looking for connections between the immaterial and the material and how one affects the other, okay? 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me, tell me a closing message here for Capricorn, and then we'll move into focus, and we'll also do the uh, mini dealing with the signs if we do get any court cards, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see. Tell me more here. We have the Ace of Wands as well. So for all intents and purposes, Capricorn, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about business, if we're talking about romance, it's time to get things moving. It's time to walk away from the familiar. It's time to shake things up. It's time to go for it like you don't have a tomorrow, okay? It's time to put your all into it. It's time to put your back into it is what I'm getting as well, okay? All right, uh, I feel like if you are willing to move forward, there's some really exciting, there's some really exciting new energy, opportunities, feelings, experiences, levels of satisfaction that you have not experienced yet that that you have still if you've been searching for something you're still searching uh even though you you have achieved you've materialized you've gotten the job you have the relationship you have whatever if you still feel like something is lacking something is missing now's the time to go on that quest to find out what is it all right and to explore different aspects different levels different uh parts of yourself is what we get here and open yourself up to more of the the feeling of adventure i also feel like it is possible that there may be a tourist that wants to take you away somewhere there may be a tourist that wants to show you the world show you something maybe take you traveling maybe they want to be a mentor maybe it's a lover but whatever it is it does feel like there could be someone even if it's not a Taurus, there, there is someone who wants to show you the world is what I'm getting. Or you're being invited to see the world through, maybe through something related to your spiritual practices or maybe something related through an institution. Could be academic, could be religious, um, could be through the family, okay? So whatever it is, it's an institution where it's a gateway to enable you to travel see new destinations whether they are physical destinations or their destinations within yourself okay let's see what is the um overall here at the bottom we do have the hang card energy so this is neptune energy could also be related to jupiter also pisces and sagittarius but it really is you it, it's it's an energy where you have you are i like to call this below the below the radar, above the influence, and even though this is a very comfortable space to occupy, sometimes, provided you're not being like, other people aren't judging you during this time when you're removed or when you're going through this awakening or you're getting this new perspective, but ultimately here, it's like, you can't live in this space because eventually, you know, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to continue to dangle eventually you want to cut yourself down and move on down the path, move on down the road, okay? See what else is there. Um, cl reclaim your mobility, reclaim your, your sense of movement, motion. For some of you, I do feel like you may actually have some sort of, um, I don't know if you, you might have some sort of back trouble or you might have some sort of joint pain or something like that, but I do feel like if that's been keeping you indoors, if that's been keeping you, um, if that's, if your mobility has been a, it affected in any way, it looks like there is going to be some sort of, um, through rehabilitation, if you're being faithful to your rehabilitation, for many of you, it looks like you're actually going to regain some of your mobility here. I, I feel like your body is just going to feel better for some of you, and that's why you're able to actually get moving. You know, um, I feel like for some of you, there is a, a stress about walking. Walking may be something that's very important for you, or could be also, um, I am getting swimming as well. <coughs> All right. Um, I feel like also for some of you, it's just, it's time to get moving. I feel like you've been very stationary, and I feel like you're, if it, it's it's everything. It's it's you know your mind needs new stimulation, new experiences. Your body also needs. I'm gonna say like needs exercise, needs um needs to move around, needs um circulation. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands energy. I, I also have to point out the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Cups. This is very, it could be very like masculine, feminine, very like phallic, vaginal sort of energy here or representation here. So here it could be if you choose, like whoever wants to show you the world, this could actually be someone, maybe they're, they could be a fire, a mixture of fire and water, or they just have very, very, lots of passion for you but also lots of deep emotion so this person is being very sincere with what they're offering you is what i'm getting all right tell me about the um ooh, we have the <laughs> we have the hang card again and we also have the ten of cups energy so yeah what's being caught up or what's being tripped up it's your it's your happiness it's your satisfaction so it's overcoming whatever this period of inaction is this period of stagnation and you know being more active, being more engaged, being more conscious, being more maybe passionate with, you know, uh, communication, connection. Don't, you're not a monk, okay? <laughs> also, for some of you, you really do need to reach out to your family. I feel like uh, for some of you, maybe you, you were going through a period where you were kind of feeling, you were just feeling out of sorts, you were feeling under the weather, or you didn't have any money. I feel like though maybe you rejected a lot of offers but don't get into the habit of just saying no is what i'm getting i feel like for some of you also maybe you know now that things are going to start getting moving for you i feel like it's important to connect with your family for whatever reason especially if there's a particular fire sign aries leo sagittarius in your family that maybe maybe the relationship has been strained between the two of you all right let's go ahead and tell me about the ace of cups energy please tell me about the ace of cups here we have the five of pentacles in reverse okay so with the five of pentacles that is uh i feel like you felt really isolated or you felt alienated from other people or you've been keeping people at a distance is kind of what i'm getting here you might have cut off a lot of people to be honest you might have gone through a period where you cut off a lot of people maybe now it's like you're not doing that anymore it's like now now that you have kind of like reset the board so to speak maybe you're trying to adopt a softer or a better way a more patient way a more nurturing way to deal with people um instead of i don't know i feel like you know it was necessary capricorn maybe it was necessary to protect yourself previously but i feel like you're gonna stop just leaving people out in the cold is what i'm getting uh let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about the three of three of wands energy please I feel like you just had time to, you needed time to process and think, and now you're, even though some of the behaviors that you you were showing before, maybe very defensive behaviors, very closed off behaviors, or almost very mechanical behaviors, it feels like you're going to walk away from that, it feels like you're done with that, it feels like it was necessary to survive, but now that you have survived, it's not going to serve you when you're continuing to move forward, trying to expand beyond, you know, into new territory, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We have the Four of Cups energy. Someone could have Moon and Cancer energy here. Someone could have Moon and Cancer placement. But I do feel like, yeah, it's time to get going. You've been sitting around. You've been processing. Maybe you've been meditating. You know, maybe there's a spiritual aspect to this. You got your energy right. But now it's time to get your body right. It's time to get your money right. It's time to get your... It, it's time to go back into the world and climb that mountain because you are the effing goat, okay? Oop, boop, boop. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Is that like a... I, I can't, I don't think it's a boat because we don't have any water around here. I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a truck, okay? Tr keep it trucking, Capricorn. Keep it trucking. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, yeah, you gotta move too, my friends. I'm just seeing a lot of like, lounging around on the couch i'm just seeing like a lot of like uh you know it was winter and it was it was locked down i get it capricorn no shame but you know it's time to like <laughs> it's time to put on those sneakers and you know do some cardio move around okay <laughs> all right tell me about the five of cups energy tell me about the five also i feel like for some of you uh or the uh sorry the eight of cups for some of you maybe you've been doing a lot of drinking okay because i do see the four of cups that's overindulgence we see the eight of cups maybe you need to walk away from all those cups for some of you okay some of you could legit maybe you were going through some depression but i do get a sense like um if you're 
Capricorn, if you have been doing a lot of drinking, I feel like maybe there's a lot of bottles or a lot of beer cans or bottles around you or something like that. I feel like today is the day, my friend. Gorilla biscuits start today. I'm gonna put that in the um, in the comments if I remember. But uh, today is the day to clean up your space. Once you clean up your physical space, your energy will improve, all right? I also feel like, you know what? What's the number one thing that gets Capricorn down? Well, there's two things that get Capricorn down, money and love, okay? I feel like though, money is about to get, money's improving or money is about to improve, or it does look like you're gonna come to terms with the fact that whatever this money that you're making, it's not worth, it's not worth your peace of mind, it's not worth your happiness, all right? I feel like that's something you struggle with though, because it does feel like it's a substantial amount of money or it's a very comfortable position that you're in. That being said, we have the freaking Hierophant energy again, all right? But it's time to walk away, walk away from what? Whatever these patterns and behaviors are that you've adopted during this time to survive, it's time to get out of the, s <laughs> it's time to get out of the sweatpants, put on your regular clothing, you know, take a shower, put on your clothing and get back into the world. Or for some of you, it's get your body moving because you've done everything that you can in terms of, Capricorn, in terms of your spiritual awakening, in terms of your energy, everything is just totally on, everything is right, okay? Now it's time to get into the physical realm, all right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about the, uh, tell me about the Hierophant energy, please. We have the Four of Swords energy. Yeah, I feel like here it was like, um, it was e it was a lot easier to kind of like fall back into this kind of mechanical or this routine, being kind of um, like a hermit energy, taking a break from your family, taking a break from your responsibilities. For some of you, you might have actually taken some vacation time. I don't feel like you necessarily enjoyed it though. I feel like you might have taken vacation time because you wanted to think or you wanted to plan for the future is what I'm getting, okay? All right, tell me about the nine of wands energy. Why? Because you feel stuck, because you feel like something is just not quite clicking with you nothing something is not quite right and you've been stuck in inaction but now's the time to take action now's the time to do something new start today okay we have the king of swords energy for some of you maybe you were stuck on or dealing with an aquarius possibly a capricorn aquarius cusper for some of you you are a capricorn aquarius cusper and you're stuck on the old way of thinking and it's not serving you anymore okay all right um I feel like if you are, yeah, you've been, you've been stuck with the, you have the hang card twice. I feel like, um, move forward and I feel like if you're dealing with specific people, I feel like if you're dealing with a Taurus, especially though, go with this Taurus, okay? Uh, let this, t let this Taurus show you the world, all right? All right, let's go ahead and pull, we will do the mini dealing with a sign before we end it, just because we did get the King of Swords. So if you are dealing with an Aquarius, possibly a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper, what are the messages between the two of you? We have the Emperor energy and we see the Five of Cups as well. Emperor energy, Aries energy, Divine Masculine energy for many readers. Uh, with the Five of Cups, we have Mars in Scorpio energy. So it looks like this person, with the with the hierophant here kitty corner to the hierophant this could have been someone that you considered a twin flame or a counterpart it looks like this person they are disappointed they are disappointed they could not step into that role for you but it looks like here they really have done a lot of work to get their head together to get their life together i don't know if they'll ever really if they ever will feel like they can reapproach you or if they ever feel like um it's gonna work out between you, or maybe you're the one who doesn't feel that way, even if this person makes progress. That being said, you have helped this person to grow, or they've helped you to grow. We have the Nine of Pentacles energy. It looks like you're probably not going, probably not going to come into union with this person, with this Aquarius. That being said, I feel like both of you can still look back at the connection. Maybe there's no bitterness or resentment or hurt anymore. Maybe you can just look back and wish the best for each other, is what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups energy. So it does look like, you know, you you have been really in your feelings. You've been really in your internal world, in the, you know, focused on the image material it's time to come back to reality it's time to come back and deal with life okay um, in the physical space all right claim your physical space clean your physical space get your body right okay all right thank you so much friends please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation